believe that we are already three months into the City Line Weight Loss Challenge. So it is time to check in with our three challengers to see how they're doing on the program. Hint, hint, they're doing very well. Okay, we found them at the Sky Zone Trampoline Park where they were jumping for joy with all their progress. Okay, we're at the trampoline park, so we're just having fun, bouncing together. I haven't done anything like this before. I was a little intimidated, but it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, I've had a few moments where I've been stuck, uh, but Joey and the other girls have helped me through that. Um, so let's just keep going. Overall, I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling a lot more confident in my body because I feel like I can move better, I can sit better, I can cross my legs, just silly things that I am feeling a lot better about myself. Lately the main struggles is trying to make sure I keep on track on the weekends. With uh, the wedding coming up, wedding prep, and running around, and the errands, and the kids. So far you think, well, you know, I was losing a lot more, and it's slower now, but it's still progress. So even if you lose half a pound a week, it's still going in the right direction, as long as you're not going up. Food doesn't control me anymore, if that makes sense. I eat because I know I want to eat because I'm hungry, not because I'm upset or I'm happy or I eat because we all need to eat. I've tried my dress on and it's big. <laughs> it's too big. And so they said, since I'm going to be another another month before the wedding, so they said, uh, wait until two weeks before the wedding and then we'll totally take it down from there because it's big in the chest, it's big in the hips, it's big in the waist. It's, it's, it was exciting when I tried it on. <laughs> That's amazing. We're going to check in with her in a moment, but first to help elevate your fitness, everyone in our audience will take home passes for Sky Fit classes. For Sky Fit. You got it. You got to get in there. They're a lot of fun. So uh, before I get to this month's weigh-ins, I want to give it up for the woman who helps make all of this possible. She started this program at City Lines Nutrition and Weight Loss Expert, Dr. Joey Shore. Thank you. And you really do change people's lives, and it's, that's why when people go through this journey with you, they won't leave you alone. Like they'll, they'll call okay. you, they'll email you, they'll that's visit okay. you, because you're really changing lives, and we love that. Thank you. So, that's the goal. I hope yeah. so. It's to nourish to health. We're not starving to health. We're nourishing no. to health. So I hope so. That's great. So why don't we check in now uh, on the progress on our three challengers right now. Let's bring Julia in here. Come on Woo! up, Julia. <laughs> This one. You guys were given a list of things that you should be doing for your optimal health, and there's something for you that you're going to stick with no matter what. What's the health habit that you love? The health habit that it's going to stick with me is not eating in the evening. It's, yeah. uh, I feel a lot better, and yeah. it, but the most important thing is I'm sleeping a lot better. Great sleep. Yeah. So when she meets, she, you still have dinner. Yes, yes. But you don't have it after what time? After 7 p.m., I it. stop eating. That's the cutoff. Yes, that's the cutoff. No matter what's on TV. No. <laughs> just water. Just City Line. That's all I watch. Just City Line. <laughs> that's all you need, yeah. really. That's yeah. all you need. Okay, so how are you feeling about the way in today? I'm feeling positive. So am yeah. I. Step on the scale, girl. Ready? Let's I'm going to tell them what your uh, initial start weight was. It was 182. Uh, we are going to see where you are right now, Julia. Step on that scale. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You have lost 13 inches, which is almost more than This is incredible. Um, how are you feeling about the journey? It's been good. I've, I've been feeling really, really good. I'll say it's yeah, been good. It's yeah. been amazing. Okay, we're going to check job. in now with Miss Natalie. Thank you so much, Thank Julia. You. Give Natalie a minute. Some of the previous episodes, Natalie said she wasn't wearing dresses anymore because she didn't really like her body in dresses. She's in a dress every week on the show now that she comes <laughs> in. Um, yeah. So I love that you're showing off your gorgeous uh, figure you. there, Natalie. What's been your biggest win so far in this journey? Uh, well, there's been lots, but mainly fitting in my size 8 jeans. So yes. they're from actually about 10 years ago that I've, I've kept. You know, you always keep those clothes. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't long ago that size 12 were digging in, you know, when you sat down. And now I can fit in these eight comfortably. 
So that's, that's yeah, a big one. Big one. That's yeah, a big it's pretty one. good to yeah. fit into yeah. the old jeans, right? Yeah. And you always say on the show, get rid of that stuff. I never do. <laughs> <laughs> I have like size 4 to 14 in my closet just in case. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So that is an amazing win. Uh, how are you feeling about the scale today? Yeah, positive. Good. Good. Oh, Good. you're great. Good. 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 Step on the scale. Oh, come on, let's see so what we got. So her start weight was 175.6. Natalie's weight ready. now is... Let's take a look. 150.6. Oh, <laughs> is down 25 pounds. And she's lost 14 inches, guys. <laughs> Amazing. Crazy. Like, really great. Really dedicated this group, right? But we had bumps. Like, let's be honest. Oh, yeah. We've yeah. had a few, like, <laughs> Joey, but, yeah. you know, we've communicated, and yeah. you, weight loss doesn't happen in a straight line, and you've done amazing. Yeah. I enjoy the fact that we talk about the bumps, too, because that's real life. Yeah. Right? That's, real that, life. That's, that's what happens. Thank you so much, Natalie. Let's bring Thank Joanne in. Uh, give it up for Joanne. Everybody. Congratulations, sweetie. Hi, girl. Joanne, I love you. <laughs> we talk, we had, we have good little connecting sessions, me and Joanne, and we're both always on the verge of tears. I think that's why I just, okay. I connect with her. Like her feelings are just out there, right? So, Very much. Um, we talked a little bit about how, you know, neither of us are waifs. No. Um, we, you know, you've had to deal with having a, a different body than what you see in the media and and, and and you know, pop culture, and that can be really tough. Yeah. So this journey, um, what has been the biggest struggle for you, honey? Biggest struggle for me, I would say, is sugar. Yeah, sugar. Yes. Love sugar. Yeah. Still do. The audience feels the same yeah, way. Oh, yeah. I still do. <laughs> but I'm, I'm in control now. You're in control. Um, I have a little thing that I've, uh, I made, uh, Dr. Joey's peanut butter cups. Yes. Which are so amazing. I keep them in Good. my freezer. Good. And I have one. Uh, when I when it hits and uh, I'm in control now. I still Good. love sugar. I will always love sugar That'll be a battle for me. Yeah, but I'm in control and I have options now, which is great for me Yeah, Oh, I love that the yeah. options are amazing and Joey always gives you so many options yes. like God yes. bless you for that Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So good. good. All right, uh, your starting weight was 211. How are you feeling about today? I'm feeling great. Oh, you've I'm got feeling this. really positive. Take yeah. a step Let's on see. that Thank scale, you. honey. One sec. Let's see. Let's see where her weight is now. 7 pounds. She's down I'm 11 so inches. <laughs> Unbelievable. Take that, sugar. Yes. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh my gosh, you're all doing incredible. Uh, and I'm really happy for all of you. You know, we talk about the genes, um, but at the end of it all, Dr. Joey, you have always been about optimal health from the inside. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, so it's not so much about being skinny, it's about feeling strong and confident. Um, and one of the things that you want to always be cognizant of when it comes to being healthy is aging healthfully. Yeah. yeah. We're going to talk about that right now. So let's I go, Joey. To it. This is such a good thing to talk about because everyone is so uh, concerned about aging and we, we tend to put a lot of emphasis on all of these outer things. But let's start inside what we should be eating and drinking in order to stay healthy healthy and let's talk optimal aging not yeah. anti-aging I don't love the term mm. anti-aging we're gonna age but mm -hmm. we can age so beautifully so these are the ways we can optimally age from the inside and the outside okay so I'm talking primarily about skin and elasticity of skin and decreasing inflammation yes and I've seen you do this on Instagram using turmeric I think you've done turmeric yes. lattes yeah you can take turmeric in a powder or you can take it in a pill form very good at reducing inflammation the more you reduce inflammation, the brighter the skin will look, right. the more you won't get aches and pains, and let's face it, when you feel better, you look better. So turmeric's in my cupboard, I take one a day, it's great. Yeah. You take it in a pill form. Or I do a latte, I'm like or you, you do I do a like latte. the, yeah. It's good, right? You can get a cheap little milk frother, it takes two yes. minutes at home, it's great, Absolutely. really good. Okay. Vitamin good C rich food is great for skin, so we know that it improves the elasticity of skin, mm -hmm. the color of skin, there's some UV protection here, so vitamin C, as much as you can and fish oils. Yes. Now, I brought on a capsule or liquid fish oil. Okay. Liquid I find to be a little bit more absorbable. Okay. That is a pharmaceutical grade one. You don't have to buy a pharmaceutical grade one. It is more expensive, 
But a fish oil, it, it's, it's not as it, though it used to be. It doesn't taste like fish. They're lemon flavor. They have different flavors. Yes. They dramatically help the moisture, sort of like a moisture lock in your skin. Okay. Cardio protective, so heart protective. Great for skin, great for hair, great for nails. So Okay, I take my fish oil. I know you do. Yeah. Back in the day when the fish oil really smelled fishy, yes. I packed it in my suitcase on a vacation and you know what? Oh no. Yeah, the lid came off. <laughs> That's amazing. I still can't wear those pajamas. No, they have to go. You have they to throw have to those go. pajamas out. Everything's oh, fishy. No. So it's oh, nice no. that these days you can get that lemon flavor um, yes. and, you know, still get all the benefits. Exactly. And the kids can take the lemon flavor, too. Yes. Now, people say, what does stress have to do with getting older? Everything, everything, everything. So the more we practice stress reduction, whether it's a lavender spray, mm -hmm. whether it's a little, like we're always on our phones, guys. We're stressing out our eyes. This is a ground flaxy little mask that you can heat up or put cold and then put it on your eyes to relax your eyes at the end of the really? day. It's soothing. It's actually really oh, that's great. Nice. Or a sleep mask, which is great because I want you in complete darkness when you're sleeping from 2 to 4 a.m. So, 100%. If you've yeah. got anything making a light, like I even turned down the clock, the alarm clock, so that the light isn't too disruptive. Exactly. Because that really, can really disrupt dark. sleep. And you, if you're sleep deprived, you age faster. Okay. Exfoliate, exfoliate. So whether yeah. it's dry brushing or using a wonderful exfoliating scrub, um, Love Fresh, this scrub is from Love Fresh. It's natural and it's going to slough off dead skin cells. So it smells really nice. Yes. If you're dry brushing, I know it sounds funny. You start at your feet yeah. and you work your way up in circles all the way to the heart. So you're getting wow. dead skin cells off and then you shower. Oh, so really? It's as though, the technical term is as though you're getting the schmutz off. The okay. schmutz means like the stuff get on your, the get off. the schmutz off. There you go. So you're so standing you're in go, the shower before you're even wet doing it? You're standing in the shower dry brushing mm -hmm. and then you're getting it all off. So it, okay. it's a great thing to do or you can use a natural exfoliant as well. Oh, okay, I love that. I think people should try that uh, in the audience. If you want your skin feeling beautiful, smooth and soft, it's made with all natural ingredients and you're all going to go home. <laughs> Eyelash fan to the core, yes. but I don't. I can't do extensions. I wear contacts, and I can't do the yeah. strips because I wear contacts. So, this is a natural lengthening serum, which Ooh. is so exciting to make your eyelashes fuller, to make them longer. I think nothing looks more feminine, and, and you look more awake when you have a long, long eyelash. So, yes. this is an all-natural serum that will help by plume science as well. So, you can put that on nightly. It's safe. It's great to use. So, another outside thing. That's come a long way because there have a been long. so many eyelash extenders out there that have not necessarily been okay for your eyeballs. Yes. So, it's nice that that's natural. <laughs> You're like sort of making this choice: but Do I want to see or do I want nice lashes? Like, what's the and some of us choose nice lashes and sometimes, some of us right? Nice <laughs> So it's nice exactly. if you can have both, right? Exactly. So uh, this, it is all about the good lashes and brows these days. This is 100% natural, as Joey mentioned, and it'll make them fuller and longer. Mm -hmm. So you are all going to take... <laughs> Collagen as we get older. Absolutely. So you can take collagen powder form, you can put collagen on your skin. So yeah. collagen is what makes our skin plump. Yeah. And it's as we lose it, we get wrinkly around the eye. Listen, we're going to get wrinkles, guys, and yeah. love what you are, rock what you've got. But if we can reduce the signs of aging naturally, why not do it? Why not try? So yeah. I brought a collagen pump okay. and a facial oil. And I really want to emphasize facial oils because people are scared of using oil on their face. I know. I use it every day. Me too. It's, and your face literally drinks it up, especially yes. in the winter time. So a facial oil at night is great. A collagen in the morning is great. And then mm. you put your moisturizing cream on. Okay. Yeah. I so. think that's very cool. So if you're getting serious about optimal aging, uh, Pure and Simple's Ultra Hydrating Collagen Elastin Serum is going to work for you. Yeah. So it's going to promote better skin circulation for a radiant and healthy glow. Everyone in our audience will take one. <laughs> to help, why wouldn't you? It's all good for you and it's all natural. It's all natural. Thank you, Dr. Yeah. Joey. Let's go to break. We got more. Yeah. Of City Line. Welcome back. I'm 
I'm out here talking to Melissa. So Melissa has been following the weight loss challenge online, like all of our viewers out there. Uh, you're doing amazing. Can I Thank tell you. them how well you're doing? Go for it. Mm -hmm. She has lost 35 pounds in 17.5 years. <laughs> perspective because you're at home you're busy with three kids and a career um, what has been the biggest change for you that you've seen um, well uh, the first one would be just keeping up with the kids having more energy yes. to get through the day and, and handle everything that they throw at you you know being in pictures versus just being the one yeah. that takes them all because usually that's who I am and you know just getting dressed in the morning I, I like to get up I actually like picking out what I wear you know it used to be yoga pants and, and a right. shirt whatever fit yeah and now I actually enjoy getting dressed in the morning I love that I love getting into clothing again because you feel like it actually fits me properly and you feel happy about your body again 100% yep Good so stuff. True. Keep going, everyone at home, and keep going, Mel. You're doing amazing. Thank you. So we get so many questions in from our viewers, and now's a great time to pick Dr. Joey's brain since you're here. And the first one I'm gonna I'm gonna ask, you know, based on Melissa's amazing progress. Right. We got a question from someone that said, "I'm reading other posts. People are losing more than I am. Uh, I am a little discouraged by this. Am I doing something wrong? Can you help, Dr. Joey?" Yeah, I can definitely help. And I want to tell everybody that in year three of the City Line Weight Loss Challenge, we did it for a three and a half month period. And at that time, I had one person who lost 37 pounds and another person who lost 20 pounds. I can tell you from my perspective, when that happens, there's a lot of management of expectations yes. because everybody's so different metabolically and you can't compare. So the other thing is everybody has a different height. Everyone has a different metabolism, different genetics. If you lose 15 pounds. I don't care how tall you are. You've just transformed your body. So right. what I'm trying to really encourage on City Line this year is be your own cheerleader. Rock what you've got. Mm -hmm. Own it. So if you hit a week where you don't lose, it's a good thing because weight loss doesn't happen in a straight line. I'm going to show you how to get out of this. I am not interested in making short-term changes. That's yeah. not why I've been doing this for 14 years. We want a long-term shift. So I'm hoping in my older days when I'm thinking about City Line 40 years from now, people are going, you know, I'm still drinking water with lemon. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to create yes. long-term effects. So don't compare yourself. Yeah. We have this wonderful community on Facebook, and it's the most amazing thing. And when someone falls, boom, someone types and picks them up. So Lovely. we're all there for each other. Melissa's 35, Julia's 23, Natalie's 25, everyone's rocking it, so yes. everyone's doing great. It's almost like life. Everyone's on their own journey, right. and you got to respect your journey. You're exactly yeah. where you should be, and you just got to stay the course. But I, I understand. I hear this viewer. Right. We have a couple of other viewers uh, weighing in right now. Karen Fletcher we got from uh, Facebook, and she says, I just dumped out a glass of wine. I had to check in the mirror to see if I recognized myself. <laughs> So she was going to have a treat, and it didn't taste amazing, so she pitched it, which right. is so good. So she's sort of learning those boundaries with herself, and she's probably now in that state where you've had so much really good clean food that when you have non-clean food, you don't really want to go there. And yes, I completely agree, and yeah. I think that we're also, I'm trying to gently force mindfulness. So yes. the fact that she was like... Wait a second, how did that wine get in my hand? <laughs> What's going on here? Wait a here? second here. So part of this is, listen, this nutritional program, I believe in it with every cell in my body. Mm -hmm. That combined with mindfulness eating, you're going to hit a home run each and every time. Right. So the fact that she did that, it's amazing. That's so cool. Okay, I'm going to get another uh, question for you right now. Having trouble, one viewer says, resisting nighttime eating. Do you have some suggestions on what I should do? That comes up a lot. Yeah, it's the biggest question I get. Yeah. I get it frequently. Nighttime eating, as the light goes down, the things that are stressing you out start to stress you out a little bit more. And most of us turn to food or alcohol. Yes. We need a replacement behavior. So you can have free food. So I know that having baby carrots is not the same as having a bag of chips, but mm -hmm. at least there's something that's occupying you. You can have brush your teeth. You can have a glass of water. You can have herbal teas. It's okay to feel hungry too. You get into the habit of going to sleep feeling on empty. Mm -hmm. And I know that's hard, but once you get into that habit, when you wake up the next day, you're like, wow, I feel good. Yes. That's why I'm a big advocate of not eating after 7 p.m. You can have those free foods, 
But I'm telling you, when you wake up the next morning, you're happy you did it. You'll have more energy throughout your entire day. Really good. And mm -hmm. then you feel, you feel that really good feeling, uh, like so many of the weight loss challengers have mentioned. And I want to mention, you can start this at any time. That's why we put all of the information online. Once again, from Facebook, we have Carm chiming in, saying that she's joined the weight loss uh, challenge group. Um, she sat back. She's congratulated people on their progress. And then she jumped in there to right. do it herself. Uh, took note of the abundance of information and the great support, and she started on March 1st, uh, and she's down three pounds. Which is great. Which is so Which good. Is so start any time, guys. There's no, there's no limit to this. This can happen at any point during the year, and you've got all the support there. I have another question for you. The no more coffee without cream and sugar is killing me. How do I cope? So I just want to uh, correct that a little bit. I never said no more coffee without cream and sugar. That's true, I said you didn't. no more coffee without sugar. Right. Have the little bit of cream if you want a little bit of cream. The cream is not the problem. Right. If you're having a bit of coconut sugar, I don't care. I'm going to look away. If you're having okay. cinnamon, I don't care. I'm looking away. Okay. If you're having four double doubles a day, <laughs> we have an issue. Yeah. But the reason that people present in my office or present on City Line to lose weight is not because they have a little sugar in their coffee. I promise that I promise that I promise you that. What you're doing from, not you, but what, mm -hmm. what people are doing from 3 p.m. on, mm. put your microscope on that. That's yes. where the weight gain is happening. Yeah, that was a game changer moment for me. The first time you said that on this show, I'm like, ooh, oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah. That's where everything goes downhill. It does. Okay, so all of the information you need, as we've mentioned, to succeed on this plan, the City Line Weight Loss Challenge, is all online. It's all at cityline.tv, including Joey's favorite recipes. We've got meal plans there for you. As well, right after the show, Dr. Joey is going to be live on our Facebook page. So you get to see her face to face and take all of your weight loss questions, um, which is great. It doesn't matter if the same questions come up again and again and again. No. We get it. We We've get all it. been through weight loss. You know, most of us have lost a little bit of weight at some point in our lives, and the same things get us every time. A hundred percent. And so there's, just throw maybe it out there's there. a tiny little nugget that you get from this Facebook chat. Whatever, whatever works. Good stuff and good work, Dr. Joey. Thank Let's you. go to break. <laughs>